Hello and welcome. This is Vince of VincePrep.com. My behavioral interview seminar is in full swing here now in Tokyo, and I wanted to give you guys the third homework assignment uh, for those of you attending the seminar. For those of you interested in learning more about the seminar, um, you can head on over to my website. Um, you can find this various places, uh, or just simply do a Google search, Google search <laughs> for behavioral interview seminar or Vince behavioral interview seminar. It's a long and unique name, so it shouldn't be hard to find. There's basically a, a sign-up form on my website, um, and that's that's one of the various ways to join it. That's not the only way to join, but it's, it's the fastest if this is the first that you're um, learning about the seminar and you want to join us. Um, for those of you already planning to come, I wanted to quickly share um, the the homework or the, the the latest question. So the, the seminar is basically a small group workshop where we um, work out stories together, where I give you feedback, where you get feedback from other people. The reason that feedback is valuable from other participants is that a lot of these interviews that you're going to are conducted by alumni. Um, and in the case of us here in Tokyo, in most cases, the alumni are Japanese, and most of the people coming to the seminar are Japanese. So my hypothesis is that um, the feedback and the follow-up questions that's that, that would come from your peer, your fellow applicant, are, are useful and very authentic. It's sort of crowdsourcing um, in, in a more realistic cultural context. Um, Sometimes the concepts or ideas that I have are, um, first of all, I'm a lot older, um, and, and second, I'm obviously not Japanese, and I'm, I'm not an alum of whatever school you're applying to because I, I don't have an MBA, so it's impossible for me to, you know, to, to fit uh, in the context of, of, um, of that. And so sometimes when we do the seminar, some of the people who come happen to be preparing to interview for the same school. So it's really, really quite valuable to get feedback from other people in addition to getting feedback from me. But let me just get to the point here. Um, the homework. The homework for uh, this week's class is basically prepare an answer to the following question. Discuss a time you had to handle conflict within a team. Discuss a time that you had to handle conflict within a team. Conflict within a team um, is the key here. And let me explain sort of the question behind the question. So why do they ask this question? So many schools, especially London Business School and also Kellogg Business School, um, love this kind of question because those schools are really especially famous for putting you into groups, for uh, encouraging or even in some cases requiring you to work in a team. In some cases, you can choose your team. In other cases, like at London, the study team is created by the school. And it's kind of like a team lab where you are expected to um, have disagreements with the other people in your project team or study team. And, and the school believes that that's part of your learning. And I think that's it's pretty realistic. You know, MBA is not really f is, uh, such an academic degree as much as it is about um, building soft skills, leadership, and network. Schools may disagree with me, and of course you can get advanced finance and other stuff, um, but I've always viewed the MBA as, as, as largely a, a degree about networking uh, and soft skills, personally, because um, it's, it's a leadership training uh, anyway. So that's my that's my hypothesis or theory about why a lot of schools ask this question. I think all of you, whether or not you're coming to my seminar, anyone getting ready for any kind of interview, McKinsey interview, a business school interview, any job interview, in frankly, in any language, in almost any culture, even in Japan, I think it would be good to have a story about how you in college got the tennis circle to get along and how you got the, you, you increased the membership or you convinced those who wanted to win, who were super competitive, um, you know, how to 
get those people to get along well with the people who were simply joining the tennis club, the intramural tennis team, uh, just for fun and socializing. That's a, that's a, believe me, that's a story we hear a lot. That's a conflict within a team's type story. So I know that even in Japan and even in Japanese, this is a really important story to have because this is a valuable life skill. Um, let me just finish here by going through, these are the actual interview criteria of a certain school. Um, they're basically asking the interviewer for this school is asked to evaluate you, sort of give you a score, if you will, one through six. Um, and let me just quickly go through these. And, and, and we're, what we're going for here is a story that will show that you're sort of at level six. So let me just try to quickly get you there. And then I'm going to wrap this video up. Um, so first of all, the interviewer is, 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 is asked, you know, first of all, sort of checking a list. Are you a, are you a proactive contributor to teams and groups? Uh, hopefully the answer is yes. That's a very minimum is that you participate in groups and teams. Second, um, do you think about how teams work together and succeed? Are you thoughtful about the way that you participate in teams and groups? Hopefully, again, the answer is yes. Third, do you understand the contribution that you make to teams? Are you self-aware? Um, you know, do you have a realistic sense of, of, of how you impact groups of people, both positively and negatively? And, and fourth, um, related to three, I think is more importantly, not are you, um, yeah, are you aware of your weaknesses as a team member? Do you know how you could improve as a team member? You know, I know myself, I love to ask questions as a team member. I could probably always do a better job of being more patient and listening deeply to the answers. So I love to ask questions. I need to learn how to show more patience um, listening to them. My face shows too much. And, I, and, and sometimes I just wish I could hide and close my eyes. And I do actually um, close my eyes when I talk to people um, so that I can just, just pay attention with my ears. Anyway, my weakness as a team member is probably as good as a listener I think I am, I know I could be better. And finally, here are five and six, so this is really important, and let me just end with this. Um, are you First of all, are level five is are you able to resolve personal conflicts between yourself and others? That's not the question behind this question here, conflict within a team, but but of course, you should be someone who can um, resolve a conflict that you have with another member because they, the schools don't want to admit you if you're constantly causing conflicts. Um, and if you're unable to resolve them, you're just making a mess for other people. And finally, level six, and this is the last thing I'll say, and this is the question behind the question, and you could think about it, um, is, you know, this would be a really valuable skill to have. Can you help? Typo, sorry, I'll fix that later. Can you help resolve personal conflicts between other people? So the question behind, one of the biggest mistakes people make in my seminar or when I'm doing a mock interview with them is I ask this question, tell me about a time that you had to resolve a conflict in a group. They share a story about, that's number five, of them having a conflict. So I needed to convince my boss to do something and he didn't agree, so I had to persuade him and I took actions one, two, three, and finally he agreed. Fine. Um, that's not what I really want to know. I want to know, more importantly, if I'm London Business School or Kellogg or any MBA program or any hiring manager for any job, even better than resolving a conflict that you have with someone else who's above you or below you or at your same level, I really want to hire you or admit you. If you, are, if you have skills to be, well, I guess I'll just say a, a kind of a diplomat, can you be a bridge? Can I trust that when you're with your study team or project team or group, and I'm not in the room as the teacher or hiring manager or admissions director, when to other people, so I'm looking here for a triangle story, whatever, a triangle, a bridge, a, you know, Mr. A and Mr. B or whatever, you know, Ms. A and Ms. B, Ms. Z and Mr. X, Whoever, these two people, um, two is, I think, a better story just because it's simpler. Even if it was a, an all-out battle between 10 people, I suggest when telling the story, you really isolate it between the sort of two most important people in the group who were really, you know, driving the conflict. How did you find a way to go over here and understand what 
A was thinking and then go over here and listen and, 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 and show empathy and understanding and build trust with, to understand how, what B was thinking and then whatever, communicate to both sides. Anyway, in your own way, in your own style, how did you bridge this conflict? How did you play diplomat, peacemaker? That I think is a really valuable skill. Just think about it in your own experience. Those kind of people, even if you're not the best at doing that, think about either yourself or sometimes it's easier to think about other people that you know who are really good at doing that. And you just could, you know, it's common sense that those folks are really valuable to have in a team. And that's exactly the question behind this question is, are you that sort of person? Um, and hopefully you can find a story that will show, not only tell, uh, demonstrate uh, that you're that kind of person. All right, I know this video was longer than I wanted it to be. I really wanna thank you for watching it. That's the homework. Bring that story to the Behavioral Interview Seminar the next time you come. I will listen to it, give you feedback, help you make it better, more concise, more convincing, um, and more authentic. Um, that's it for now. Subscribe. Subscribers are the first to know when I've made new videos. I love making these videos every chance I get. That's all for now. Best of luck with your interview, with your application, with whatever it is you're working on. Bye for now.